Hey, how's it going? Today we're talking about short sales and how they can affect you as a condo owner in terms of how these issues can affect your particular building, not just necessarily your unit. We're going to talk about three main points today. The first one is the simple equation of if no one's paying HOA dues, so if you have people in the building, 10%, 20%, whatever it is, that are unable to pay their mortgage, chances are they can't pay their HOA dues either or their taxes, which means that as the HOA is able to collect less money, they have less money in the budget, which means they have less money to run the building, which means eventually, if not immediately, your HOA dues will start to go up as people stop to pay their bills. Um, this can create a situation where your building is less desirable in terms of the value someone's willing to pay because there's more of a financial commitment every month. Keep in mind, your HOA dues are not uh, tax beneficial. Uh, you don't get any tax benefits for paying your HOA dues. It's not a write-off like, like your property taxes are. So that's not a good thing. The second thing is uh, when we talk about saleability of a building, okay, uh, enough conditions can happen. For instance, your building could lose enough of their reserve capital or not have enough allocated for capital expenditures. And when those types of things happen, lenders who underwrite these files for people who want to buy into your building eventually red flag your property and the building becomes non-saleable to anybody unless they're paying cash. Obviously, cash investors are looking for steep discounts. They're looking to buy for X cents on the dollar, which means that that's going to plummet the values in your building. There are some buildings out there that we're experiencing uh, that have actually gone bankrupt. Uh, these buildings have actually lost their entire HOA function. The HOA is defunct and bankrupt. No one's maintaining the exterior. And those buildings, uh, the condos inside have essentially uh, depreciated to zero value. No one wants them. And the third thing is, which is the, the really more likely option for anybody, especially in these big high-rises downtown, is another saleability issue, and that's simply rentals, rental restrictions. Um, a lot of these owners who are distressed, who are unable to pay their bills, going into foreclosure, contemplating short sales, which is what we're here to talk about today, um, they rent their units out because they move out, they move to another place, they're trying to hedge themselves and put something in place to keep the mortgage current. But the problem with that is if too many people are renting in a building percentage-wise, and for most of uh, the magic numbers, either 30% or 50%, depending if it's conventional or FHA financing, the building then becomes unsaleable. So if, if you're looking for conventional financing in most cases, and you're looking to buy a building that has 31% rentals, your lender will not finance you for that purchase. And if you own a building like that, you essentially have a unit that's not saleable. So you know when making the decision to short sale and figuring out what the best option is for you and your family, it's not just about your personal financial situation. You have to take a long, hard look at what's actually going on inside of your building, looking at the underlying financials and making sure that you, A, have a saleable product, but B, that things aren't going on behind the scenes that are negatively influencing your value despite the fact that you're continuing to pay on your mortgage. And if those things are happen, happening, you owe it to yourself to talk to somebody like myself, to talk to Newman Realty, talk to our attorneys, talk to our staff, and figure out exactly what the best option is for your family. A short sale isn't always necessarily about a personal hardship. A short sale can also be about a hardship with your actual building. Get to know the facts, get to know your rights and options, empower yourself with the information to make the right decision for you and your family. Trust Scott Newman and Newman Realty. Have a good day.